Hi guys, the topic of this tutorial is that you can soon, when the March release is there, you'll get a new Arconix welcome app with a new button, Arconix Calamars tool. And it lets you decide today what file system do you want to have, what format, BTRFS, XFS, JFS, Riser, or the standard that we've been using for years, X4. It's again a choice which results in 40 choices later on because you want it encrypted with big swap, with small swap, with swap to file, 40 things actually, choices you end up with. So the video is about BTRFS and my question to you guys, join us in testing BTRFS. So we have a gparted that can always tell us something about our system, BTRFS, and Recently, somebody gave us the tip to install duff and we install sudo pacman s duff now, which also gives us, yeah, you should use your tab, right? Bin, I think it is. But okay, let's get the databases in sudo pacman s y. That's not, not an update, let's just get the databases in and then I'll figure it out. So, duff it is. And also quite a nice little thing in the terminal, but it's important to know that we are on BTRFS. So we've done the Calamaris installation, told him that we want to have BTRF, BTRFS or Butter, Butter FS. So join me in testing BTRFS on your systems. Together with TimeShift, which has been there like for ages on our systems, you can set it, and I've already seemed to have set it already. So let's go over the motions again. Create. And unfortunately, we should check the wizard. Then you go over the motions. And so it's the, if it's the really first time, you go through these screens. And if you don't have BTRFS, but yeah, X4 or others, you go via rsync and that's the advantage right if you are a time shift user personally i'm not but i will be so i'm starting to test it out as well with you guys to, together with you ptrfs right next where it is sda1 i just have one thing here next is of course virtualbox daily okay fine how many times do you want to make a, a snapshot What's a snapshot? It's a frozen image of the current system. The current system is this. This is your file system. So it makes a, a snapshot of all files, folders and all that. And how many do you want to keep? If you know Norton Ghost from back in the days, that's more something to think about. Like it makes an image and then um, next time when it makes an image, it doesn't make the whole image, but the, just a part, an extra thing that has changed. Uh, will be created um, as I'm looking for the word to say that in English, but um, it's not the complete uh, root folder. Okay, maybe I'll know it later. Next, you could include your home sub volume if you want. Not really a fan, but you could, right? But um, the thing is, I like to have my stuff in the cloud and uh, have everything there. But this is the system then. Uh, if you don't include this one, it's purely the system, not your home folder. And that's uh, just left active there. Just read it and you'll know what it says. And then finish. And again, it's making a, a script, a, a snapshot. Now, Let's see if I've done that already. There are some things that are interesting to add besides time shift. There is the time shift. Let's have a look. Auto snap. That's something I would suggest you try out. Auto snap. This one. And it was already installed. So if you get this thing, do you want to delete it? Yes, yes you say. And you do it again and it's installed. So there you go. And he's doing some strange lines. Time shift, BTRFS, snapshots. This is new for us because we never used a BTRFS and always on X4. So we see some lines that we say, whoa, what's going on? 
but it's time shift kicking in run time shift back up have a look with where it is uh, it's the pathway where everything is located and the other thing that we've added as a tool is grub btrfs and grub btrfs makes it possible to at boot at grub decide let's take the arco linux snapshot it's called like that it's in in there in the grub you, you get the kernel and the other um, possibilities and then the third line is going to be yeah arco linux snapshots and those snapshots will be there so if you update things and say oh my god everything's broken i could back to go back to february 22nd and you boot up into a system again that works and think what did i do wrong or downgrades application or anything right but mainly you have a fail safe you have something to boot into so that's what i would like to suggest for now um, as application let me check me one thing since i don't like to type all that kind of things on all my 24 ssds <laughs> it's just way too much did i now launch it or not did i click or not vivaldi come on firefox come on okay there they are so you know my personal github.com Eric Dubois holds the nemesis. So, and in the nemesis, if you zip this or git clone this thing, you have, um, where would I have put it? AUR. And then, sure and sure, and never ask the password again. Or did I put it somewhere else? Not. Let's do a control find, right? <laughs> Ptor, Ptrfs. Okay. So it's not in this level. Then it should be in the other one, in the personal one. Control find, Ptrfs. Check for Ptrfs. Here it is. Line 940 or script 940. Basically, what it does is what I just told you. Time shift, grub, beat your FS, time shift, auto snap. But I did have, I have enabled the grub beat your FS path. So that's uh, one extra thing that we've done. And a message if it's not okay. So if you do not have beat your FS, it's just gonna say, hey, you d it's not formatted as beat your FS. Basically, it doesn't install anything. So that's it. We'll see and try out this, this little script as well on other machines. Uh, every time we do a new BTRFS, we'll run it and see if we can improve any of the scripts, add any of the, the, the extra elements to it, put elements to it, and uh, we'll see. So join me in testing BTRFS. It's possible to quickly do that now just with a button click on the button here arcanize calamaris tool beta rs save boom and calamaris will install your system in a different kind of um, filing system well format okay enjoy beta rs cheers